Now today's article starts out by saying the Hakka are famous for their use of the tongue tree and for their food.、Mm -hmm. Now I've heard about these tongue trees. They have beautiful white flowers、yeah. that look like snow when they fall. That's right. Actually, the tongue tree yo tong shu is usually. Useful in many different ways. The haka used it for making umbrellas, okay, matches, kuochai,、mm -hmm. and other goods. They also used the trees seeds to make oil.、Oh. Haka people, 客家人也会用油桐树的种子来制造油。Well, they've done a lot with the tongue tree,、mm -hmm. but that's not what we're here to talk about today. So let's look at the next line of the article. Okay. It says, however, they've also produced some famous writers. Oh, I know about some of these people. Well, let's find out about who they are. The、okay. article says the three most famous Hakka authors are Wu Zhouliu, Cheng. Zhong, Zhong Zhao, Zhong Good, and Zhong Li He. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> now the noun author, spelled A U T H O R, author means someone who writes books. Articles and other works for their job.、Mm -hmm. For example, we could say the author of The Hobbit was a man named J. R. Tolkien.、Mm -hmm. Author, 作者 The Hobbit, 哈比人这本书的作者就是 J. R. Tolkien. So, author 是一本书的作者。那 writer 是什么意思呢？他是作家哦。We can say J. R. Tolkien is a writer.、Mm -hmm. He's the author of The Hobbit. Right. So, Elsie, do you know any of these three authors? 这三位最有名客家作者就是吴卓流、mm -hmm. 钟兆镇，还有钟理和。I think I've heard of them. Okay. <laughs> well, so the next paragraph is going to tell us a little bit more about Wu Zhouliu.、Mm -hmm. Did I get that right? Wu Zhouliu. Okay. Perfect. It, it says <laughs> Wu Zhouliu was a Taiwanese journalist and novelist.、Mm -hmm. Now the noun journalist, spelled J O U R N A L I S T. Journalist means someone whose job is to report the news.、Mm -hmm. For example, Erica enjoyed her time working for the school paper, so she's thinking about becoming a journalist. Journalist, 新闻工作者 The word journalist comes from the noun journal,、mm -hmm. J O U R N A L,、mm -hmm. which is another way of saying magazine or newspaper.、Right. Another word that's important is journalism. Journalism. J O U R N A L I S M journalism, which is the activity of reporting the news, 新闻工作 Mm-hmm. Now the noun novelist, spelled N O V E L I S T, novelist means someone who writes novels.、Mm -hmm. Novelist then obviously comes from the noun novel, spelled N O V E L. Novel or a book.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Novelist, 小说家 It comes from the word novel, 小说 Often we add the suffix er to describe people, but、mm -hmm. with these words, novelist and journalist, we are adding the suffix ist.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like we would say, teacher is er plus teach, but、mm -hmm. this time. Ist with journal or like artist, right? The、okay. end is I S T, right? Perfect.、Mm -hmm. Now next, the article says in 1941 he went to China for 15 months. Is there any reason why he did this?、Mm, yes. Went to China. Yeah. Let's take a look at the next sentence.、Mm -hmm. It says history there heavily influenced his most well-known work, Orphans of Asia,、mm -hmm. or Orphan of Asia. Sorry.、Mm -hmm. So during his stay in China, he saw and experienced a lot of things.、Mm -hmm. They all had an effect on his famous novel, Orphan of Asia.、Mm -hmm. 在中国的那段期间呢，深深影响了吴卓流最著名的小说《雅西亚的孤儿》。相信同学们都听过。Now the book's name was Orphan of Asia.、Mm -hmm. The noun orphan, spelled O R P H A N, orphan, means a child whose parents have both died. For example, thousands of children are now orphans because of the war. Not very nice.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Orphan, 孤儿。那孤儿院该怎么说呢？我们在字尾加上 a g e， 变成 orphanage 就可以了。Mm -hmm. Orphanage， 孤儿院。Now sometimes we use orphan in a different sense.、Mm -hmm. The title of the book is Orphan of Asia.、Mm -hmm. Now we know that Asia is not a parent, so the book's title must have a different meaning. Right.、Mm. 
And the article tells a bit about the book in the next sentence. Yes, it says the story takes a look at what it means to be Taiwanese. So yes, the novel describes how Taiwanese suffered from Japanese、mm. colonial rule. Ah, 这本书描绘了台湾人在日本殖民统治之下的悲惨的状况 During that period of time, Taiwanese were treated unfairly by Japanese in Taiwan. So some of them chose to study in China. Hmm. Especially Taiwanese intellectuals, okay. Because in Taiwan, ah, 受到日本人不公平的对待，有一些台湾人呢，特别是台籍的知识分子，选择当中国的留学生。但是到了中国，情况如何呢 ？After they went to China, they found out that. They were also treated unequally there.、Oh. They seemed not to belong to any countries,、right. which is why they are described as orphans of Asia in the novel. Ah,、oh, mm-hmm. that makes sense. So, 好像不属于任何国家的台湾人在小说中就被描述成了亚细亚的孤儿。Hmm. Well, thank you for that nice history、mm. lesson. Actually, <laughs> so it did have something to do with Taiwan. Yeah. Now let's find out more about the second Hakka author. The article says Zhang Zhaozhen promoted the use of the Taiwanese and Hakka languages in writing. Now here we're using the word promote to show that the author was trying to encourage the development of these languages. Yes, languages can eventually die out、mm-hmm. if not enough people are learning and using them. So、mm-hmm. Zhong Zhaozhen encouraged people to use Taiwanese and Hakka languages, Taiyu and Ke Yu, especially in writing.、Mm-hmm. Right. Now that's not all his most famous work did, though.、Mm. The article says his most famous work. Work, the dull ice flower looks at education problems in the ignored rural areas of Taiwan. Now we saw the adjective dull here, spelled D-U-L-L, dull, which means in this in this book title, not shiny or not bright. For example, the light outside is quite dull because of the large storm clouds. Dull 在文章和例句中呢是晦暗的、不鲜明的意思。The word dull has other meanings though.、Mm-hmm. It can mean boring,、yes. or not interesting,、mm-hmm. 无聊的、不有趣的。It can also mean not sharp,、mm-hmm. 钝的、不锋利的。As in a dull knife, 一把不锋利的刀 Right now, the verb ignore, spelled I G N O R E, ignore means to pay no attention to something you have been told about or know about. Now here, the people and the areas outside of Taiwan's cities are ignored, which means that everyone who doesn't live there ignores those places. For example. In a kind of different sense,、mm-hmm. I, know I know Gary heard me shouting, but he ignored me anyway. Ignore, 忽视不理会。文章中 ignore 字尾加上 d 啊，就变成了形容词 ignored， 被忽视的。Mm. Now the adjective rural, spelled R U R A L, rural, describes something that happens in the countryside or outside of the city.、Mm-hmm. For example, my grandparents live in a rural community. We have to drive an hour out of the city to get to their house. Rural, 乡下的，农村的。The opposite of rural is urban.、Mm-hmm. U R B A N, urban, 都市的，城市的。Now it's important to learn about the education problems in rural areas、mm-hmm. because rural areas often struggle to get teachers, and they have fewer resources like books and computers. So I bet that happens in Canada also, right? It does. Well, much of Canada is made up of rural areas,、mm-hmm. so children in these areas often spend a long time getting to school, maybe because there's only one school in the middle of many、yeah. different communities.、Mm-hmm. But very rural areas in the north. Of Canada can be so difficult to get to, and very very small. And many people or many teachers don't want to teach in these places. Same here in、mm-hmm. Taiwan. I believe this problem is existing in every corner of the world.、Mm-hmm. As a teacher myself, I really hope there are enough resources for every child to learn. Yeah. Well, let's move on to our third author, Zhang Lihe.、Mm-hmm. The article says. Zhang Lihe is known as the father of Taiwanese rural literature. Now, here we say, see the phrase "be known as." To be known as something、mm-hmm. means that you're famous for being the person who does something important. For example, Michael Jackson is known as the King of Pop. 
known 知名的 ，be known as 后面加一个名词，就是某人以某称号称谓而闻名。Michael Jackson 是以流行音乐之王而闻名。Now we also saw the noun literature, spelled L-I-T-E-R-A-T-U-R-E, -E, literature. Now this refers to books, plays, poems, or other written works that people consider important and good. For example, we are reading the plays of William Shakespeare in my literature class. Literature, 文学。钟礼和 is known as the father of Taiwanese rural literature. 他就是以呢台湾文学。台湾乡土文学之父而闻名的。Mm -hmm. Now, in that sentence, we saw that it said rural literature.、Mm -hmm. That means the books he writes are about the things in the countryside.、Yes. Now, let's check out the article. It says Zhang moved to China in 1938 and returned to Taiwan in 1946. Zhang Lihe was there for about eight years. Next, the article tells us what book he was famous for. It says, "From the Old Country" is his most famous work. Now, the article also tells us what the book is about. It says, "In it, he looked at the different ethnic groups in Taiwan."、Mm -hmm. Now, the adjective "ethnic," spelled E T H N I C, ethnic, relates to a particular race, nation, or tribe, and those people's customs and traditions. For example, these two boys are from dif different ethnic groups.、Mm -hmm. One is from the Ami tribe, and the other is from the Atayal tribe. Ethnic, 种族的 different ethnic groups, 不同的种族 Hmm. Now the article tells us Zhang Lihe's opinions about the different ethnic groups. It says, despite their differences, he felt they could get along in the end. Now the de preposition despite means that something happened, even though another thing is trying to prevent it from happening.、Mm -hmm. For example, despite getting a 98 on his math test, Roy's father was still upset that it wasn't perfect. Despite is 介系词，等于 in spite of。尽管后面呢只能加名词或者是 verb i n g v i n g. Now the phrase "get along" means that people like each other and are friendly with each other. For example, the mother tells her son and daughter to play in different rooms when they can't get along. A and B get along 代表 A 和 B 合得来，相处融洽。Now the last line of today's article is to make a long story short. If you like Taiwanese literature, check out these three Hakka authors sometimes. And we're going to cut for our shortcut for you today. To make a long story short, and go straight to our for you chat question、mm -hmm. after.